everyone. Hi, I'm Mist Fane and welcome to the cosplay show. Today we're gonna make the Stiglian blade from Hades. Let's get to it immediately. We start with an EVA foam base that is roughly the same size as that we want. Then we use Warbler, heat it up with a heat gun and just make a small little sandwich of that EVA foam. We use a soldering iron to cut in a slit so that our fiberglass rod can fit in there. And with everything done, you can just stack some more EVA foam on there by simply using contact cement. We finished our base. It's basically a whole construction of fiberglass rods, warbler, EVA foam and a PVC tube. Once that is done, we can start using our LED foam to do the rest of the construction. And for that, we're gonna check out the LEDs themselves. So for this project, we're gonna use LED foam. This is some white foam you can buy at Cosplay Shop, which has diffusing properties. So if you put light behind it, like this one, it will diffuse the light a little bit. So you don't see all the ugly technical parts of the LEDs themselves. All right, so this is the basic shape of the sword. Let me explain what's in there. We have the LED strips, which are embedded into the LED foam. And it, it looks a bit weird like this, but you can also cover it up with more LED foam. Once if you put the lights on, we have something like this, which is probably very difficult for the camera to see, but it's still visible. Of course, all the electronics are inside the skulls. The battery, the on and off switches are in there as well. And we also have a cable that will be charging our battery later on if this ever runs out which will probably happen two or three hours in the con because these leds are very very draining for your battery so with the base finished we're gonna cover up both sides with more led foam and use foam clay to start sculpting our skulls on these little covers It's a very easy procedure to just apply foam clay on top of foam. Take a bit of water and just uh, apply it onto your base. And then take some foam clay and just press it down like this. It's just getting it on there, smearing it out. It is not as clean as I want it, but afterwards, if the foam clay is dry, like you can dry it overnight and then it's completely solid or at least solid on the outside, you can sand away at it just like foam. It's not exactly like foam, but it's very similar. So you can just work on it with a Dremel, multi-tool or a knife. Now we're gonna make the teeth so that the teeth can just be put in the foam because it's still squishy right now. So we can manipulate it a little bit more. 
And after that's done, we, we just do the other side, because that's still no, done. Now that I've finished sculpting and letting it dry overnight, which is actually a week, we have our skulls here. And if I want to charge it, I just take a cable, a charging cable, and plug it into the connector. And that way, my sword can be charged for the next convention or photo shoot or whenever something will ever happen with cosplay. But of course, foam clay doesn't leave a very smooth surface, or at least I am not very good at making a smooth surface. So afterwards I can just take a Dremel and put some texture in there with a couple of bits that help me define the texture of the skull. We can start on the handle, for which you're gonna use our 3D printer. Don't be afraid, you don't need a 3D printer to help you out. You can also watch our resin video and just make the exact same thing with clear resin and a bit of dye. Now the next step is gonna be painting it using Plasti Dip and for the skull, we're gonna use Flexbond, so we can dab on some texture, so it looks more skull-ish. We used clear Plasti Dip because it keeps emitting the light even though we primed the prop. Then, we also used Flexbond, because you can dab Flexbond on. After priming, we used our airbrush to cover the LED foam. If you use normal acrylic paint, there might be a chance that you won't see the light through it. For the high density EVA foam, we used Alclad Chrome. I just added a little bit of black each time we wanted a darker color. For the skulls and all the other parts, we used acrylics. And to create even more depth, we're gonna apply oil paint. But you apply on the prop, and then just rub it off. For the handle, we just painted it black. And of course, the end part, we used a little bit of rub and buff to just shine up the gold that was needed for the edge. And that's a wrap for our Stiglian blade build from Hades. We want to thank the shop for letting us use all the materials that they have available. If you want to make your own blade, feel free to check out the list down below with all the materials so you can make your own Stiglian blade or any of the ancient arms from Hades. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.